Hi, today at Entrepreneur, we have with us an entrepreneur and investor, Deep Bajaj. Deep, welcome to Entrepreneur India. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So, Deep, we have seen your interesting journey in terms of uh, developing Serona first, then uh, good glam coming into, into the picture, and then you becoming an angel investor. And now, sooner or later, we'll also see you exiting Serona. So, how has been the journey like? Well, it's been very rewarding. I think uh, I never... When I started, didn't imagine this will how the whole thing will pan out. Uh, but can't be more thankful. I think some very, 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 very trusting customers, great team members, a lot of blessings, some good products for the country, uh, and this is where we are. And I think in terms of journey, it's the most fulfilling part is that we were able to create a new category. Some of the products that we introduced for the Indian women didn't exist in this uh, shape or form. And not only were we able to create the category, we were also able to do it with reasonable success. So, no regrets. Very happy with the way things have turned out. Sure. So, before we talk about your journey as an investor, I also want to learn, I mean, as an entrepreneur, when did you feel now it's time for me to make an exit from the company? Well, I think there are, there are a few things that I understand about myself. And uh, one of them is, I'm a very good zero to one operator. I'm a okay 1 to 10 operator, but the minute 10 to 100 is a journey, I believe my skill sets, um, I need to work on them actually. So we came to a stage where, you know, where we were growing very well. Uh, and, and when the Good Glam offer came, I thought the path that I had to play in taking the brand to 100 crore profitable revenue run rate, I had played that part. Now the journey from 100 to 500 crores needed very different skill sets needed very different uh, muscle and I at that point thought Good Glam had uh, uh, at least in theory everything working uh, for them which could have taken the brand to the next level. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it from the point of view of three people. I have my team members, is it good for them? I had my investors, is it good for them? I have my brand which is my baby, is it good for them? And uh, on all the three, the answer at that time was yes, because we were able to negotiate a deal where we were able to give an early ESOP crash vesting to employees. We were able to give a very good in, you know, return to our angel investors, almost six times to 20 times sort of return they made. And even on the brand side, you know, what I thought was, I was, we were able to create a business which was good on marketplaces. The D2C from own website, burn wala business, it's not something that we were very, very good at. And offline business also, we were just learning. And I didn't want to grow too fast in that channel because it's a very capital intensive business. So when the offer came in, I thought it's also good for the brand because Good Glam back then, uh, and of course even now, you know, they, they, they're good at D2C. They're good at, uh, they, they had a very large offline presence back then. Yeah. So I thought I would be able to just, the brand will be able to rise and, and grow faster. So in all the three, and knowing very well my strength as a 0 to 1, 1 to 10 operator, the, the grid locked very well. So I thought it was time for me to say, let me scale it to another level and, and give it to uh, the able hands of Good Glam's leadership to take it to a level beyond. Okay, so what have been your learnings being post-acquisition? <laughs> Well, I think uh, learnings, uh, many, I think, uh, I can't really say that there's been like, uh, if, I, if I make a list, I'll, there'll be seven, eight, ten of them. But I think the biggest learning is uh, uh, things take time. You know, there, there are no shortcuts to any, any relationship. You know, the both sides have to work very well uh, on each other's strengths. It's been, uh, it's been good and, and there are areas where we need to work on. And that's been uh, the biggest learning that things take time. So no matter what you do next, if there's an opportunity, think it through, you know, get to know the other people better. It's like relationship. Uh, but all in all, like I said, no regrets, won't have done it uh, any other way. So if you have to give an advice to an entrepreneur who is now thinking about making an exit or as looking for uh, selling the company, I mean, what would be your advice to them? Well, my advice will be that if, uh, unless that's the only option, uh, I would say, uh, think through all the permutation combinations uh, that can go right and wrong with the deal. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, but ensure that the few key stakeholders, like I say, there are two kinds of, there are two customers. One is a paying customer, one is an internal customer. Mm -hmm. Paying customer is the outside customer. An internal customer is your team member, shareholders, and of course, you know, all the well-wishers, like friends in media, etc. I would say. If you believe that the incoming partner has strengths that can add value to both 
external as well as internal far better than you can please go ahead and do it okay. if you think it's only going to be on one of the elements then i would say think it through till you know the other guy is very very well uh, yeah so that's the only advice that think through everything okay and post selling the company i mean is that the time when you got enough mind space to think about your journey as an angel investor See, startups have always excited me, uh, and I was making uh, investments before that also. But I think, yes, after I decided to uh, exit uh, Serona, what became available was time. You know, what became available was learning of taking Serona to zero to ten, and then ten to you know zero to one, and one to ten. That journey I had seen uh, in in the modern ecosystem parlance. So I thought I'll be able to give time and some of the insights. Uh, money was, I think, just. one of the thing that became a little uh, you know available uh, but yes it was after i decided to exit serona is when i started actively making time for other people more from you know sharing what i have learned uh, perspective it was i mean of course the 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 terminology is you you known as an angel investor mm-hmm. but for me it was about saying see this is what i've learned these are the pitfalls i would love to share it so that nobody else makes the same mistakes so i entered it from that point but it, the journey started only after i had a little more time available that which is correct so you made close to 40 investments if i'm correct correct around 40 odd okay. <laughs> startups yes and these would largely again be retail and consumer centric businesses no so it's a it's a heady mix i'd say about 40% of them are d2c because that's a space where i can add maximum value yeah. for whatever it's worth whether they take it or not but i can, i i i have an opinion about certain aspects of that category uh and and the rest are mixed you know there's edtech fintech edutech everything is the rest are mix which are pure uh, financial investments but d2c is where i'm able to spend a little more time okay. from uh, what i've learned around team building around customer care around the culture mm-hmm. some of those things and i i very happily share it with the guys at least that i know yeah so and again when you are transitioning from the phase of an entrepreneur to an investor i mean are there any unlearnings that you have to do i don't know i haven't really thought about it that deeply <laughs> i think uh, i'm still an entrepreneur yeah. i mean when i'm also advising uh, uh, you know some of the startups i'm talking to them as a friend only as as a as a as a as a colleague you know that's how i always been so depending on the the, the crisis that they are in I just go in as a colleague and try to sell you know help so I don't really think I don't operate as an as an investor even today I think I operate more as an operator okay where uh, my objective is to 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 see you know there's there's some role that my angel investors have played in my life right I think paisa to ek cheez hai money is just one aspect right yeah, more than more than money in the early stages you need hand holding on a lot of softer aspects also like i said you know team building culture challenges you know your uh financial management your governance okay. some of those things you need hand holding on and i have had the privilege of having some good advisors early on so i am just saying that i'm i'm le- i'm taking the learnings from there mm-hmm. and trying to put it uh, th- across to these founders more as a founder i don't do it as an angel investor in my head like i'm i still don't say that i'm an angel investor i just believe i'm somebody who would love to help if if there's a startup uh you know where 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 they feel i can add value from the d2c ecosystem point of view at least and who was your first angel investor okay yes my wife <laughs> <laughs> as always no so uh, a very good friend uh, of course family gave money and uh, then uh, this this very dear friend of mine from bombay vikas he was the first seed investor and then indian angel network came on board okay. and and within them there were some who led the round mr vikas kotiala sanjay mehta sir of uh, 100x vc and of course ishan singh uh, then many uh, well wishers came along and they kept opening doors they kept solving problems when when we hit a roadblock but it's a lonesome journey of course you know as a founder you've, uh, but it helps to always have people who can advise and who can uh, help you think through the problem face to up we karna hai yeah okay Sure. So, which have been your top star three investments that you think you've made so far? All of them are stars. All. कुछ दिखते हैं कुछ दिखते नहीं हैं, but they're all stars. I think uh, some some uh, startups that I'm very uh, happy to work with today because of you know how happy go lucky easy the founders are would be uh, that this brand called New Republic. They're into wear tech product. Okay. Very very passionate founder. 
uh, there's another brand which we helped uh, you know we, 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 it was it was with upscaleo we helped the founders reacquire the brand okay. they are into uh, women footwear very good simple founder they are called trace there's a coffee brand by the name of beanley uh, so yeah those those three i would say our guys where where it's it's fun to work with but other than that also people they, you know, they were on shark tank what's up wellness they were also on shark tank very good founders and the list is fairly long so by by naming a few i uh, i don't mean to i don't mean any disrespect to the others but i'm saying these are there are some guys i really cherish working with just because of the positivity that bring it that they bring in my life sure so how do founders reach out to you are they known to you they are in your circle of friends mostly yes mostly they are references you know uh, i've been uh, pretty visible at 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 startup events uh, so and and if anybody reaches out to 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 get any sort of insight i'm happy to help and i think that network today has become uh, a a referring bowl of sorts you know where i keep getting references of startups but they all come in from the startup ecosystem uh, itself as uh, references and have you already made any exit from any of these investments have i made any exit no they they offers have come in uh, and some some very good offers have come in uh, but well unless a founder asks me to exit i mean i'm not in a rush i think what i tell them is i didn't get into the 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 business with an objective to say that i want to make 10x 50x i got in because i like what you're doing mm. i had a little bit money available which i didn't know what to do with and you knew so i said okay dwab if you can make better use of it uh, you take the money so unless you ask me to exit i will not exit okay. so there have been offers that have come in uh, from from a few uh, startups including univest where they are into wealth uh, wealth tech but well when the founder said you stay on i've stayed on so there have been offers but have i taken a stellar exit as yet no and what's the sweet spot i mean uh, how much money do you invest what yeah. first take like so it's it's it varies between 10 lakhs to 50 lakhs that's the range which i invest uh, usually and and there are a few startups where we put in a little bit more because uh, because the business wanted and we had so that's the range uh, where we operate out of okay okay So do you also want to talk about I mean uh, in terms of the kind of investments you are making in terms of your personal investment how mm. much of that amount yeah. put in startups Very good question so I'd say you know I I have two pillars in my life one is my wife one is my brother who's also my co-founder uh I am the 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 black sheep of the house who does not believe in any other investment than startups okay. so for me I am over leveraged on on startups all the other asset classes uh, whether it's real estate or its funds or its international investments that's looked at by my wife and my very able brother but as far as i'm concerned if i have 10 lakhs today i have 5 lakhs today i have 1 lakh today the only place that i'm looking at is where is a startup where i think uh, you know this money can go so which are some uh, new way sunrise segments which you now looking at maybe you want to invest and you have come across any good startups here I would say you know how I look at it is a little different you know I've realized that uh, at least startup ecosystem mein jitna maine dekha hai I believe more than the sector it's the founder so for me it's always a founder first approach I believe a great sector with a with a not right founder will go down and an average sector with a great founder mm-hmm. you know is bound to get uh successful and i've seen that example i've i've invested in very like like new age categories like evs also plant based meat also okay. uh and and uh, some of them haven't done very well uh, because i think the founder had different plans so for me what i look for is the founder i believe if i'm able to find a founder who has enough hunger mm-hmm. for success he will find the answers so is there a sector that i particularly watch out for no what i watch out for is the founder where i believe our uh, our 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 value system will match so integrity i would say you know you should not be in the business of just taking anybody for a round, you know right to just make your ends meet sort of a thing so there are some there's some list there's a checklist that i have when i meet a founder there are a few questions that i ask which 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 lets me know a little bit about the kind of person that he is and then i go to the segment then i go to the category yes category ke thesis hai like like i believe big category is always better mm-hmm. so alco bev electronics still needs a lot of disruption yeah. home furnishing needs a lot of disruption at least in the d2c ecosystem mm-hmm. uh 
so I, I made that thesis that next time when I do something, it has to be a big category, it has to be a high ticket value uh, product, it has to be a product where there are no returns, it has to be a product where you know there is no expiry. Mm -hmm. So personal care ni hona chahiye idly mere hisab se. But then all the thesis comes second. What is most important is the founder. If the founder is gold, then yeah, he'll find answers and and solve any category. And in our case, Touchwood, when we got into Serona. Yeah. It was uh, most of the investors had had doubts because we were talking about Peabody women standing in peeing. There is no history. It's such a small niche, yeah. taboo topic. Then we came up with Serona. Mm. Started saying we don't want to push pads. We want to talk about menstrual cups. Menstrual cups. May there was always a question. Are they both chotti category? Hai. Women will not buy it again. Mm. But Touchwood, we ended up creating whatever we ended up creating. Big, small, ugly uh, is is secondary. But it, and it all happened because I think of a great, great, great team. So sunrise sector, any sector, if the founder is good. And you just spoke about the list of questions you asked. So <laughs> Leave them to understand, okay, whether the mindset <coughs> matches with them or not. Correct. Any such questions you want to share with us? <laughs> Somebody who's reaching out to you. Then we'll he'll prepare the questions. <laughs> no, well, I think uh, see, what do you want to know? I just want to know. Th there are questions through which I just figure out if if you if there's a plan B in your life, you know. Then most likely Plan B will get triggered. I I believe that I need to just in, through some of the questions whether so academics is is the last that I judge judge by. Is there any other thing that you feel very passionate about? So let's say sports. Okay. Kya my sports me I took it to the last level that I still believe uh, I'm a, I'm an avid reader. But but how much are you reading? So I need to see one streak of passion, you know. So either education can show, sports can show, any other hobby can show. I would love to understand how are you with your team. So I would love to uh, meet the team members. Even if there are two, three of them, how are we treating them? You know, uh, how important are they for you? Have you made any ESO pool already, or you've not made because you don't know, but you want to create? Those questions are. I mean, it seems that are you somebody who will be happy to share wealth, or you're in, you know, completely inward. Uh, of course, it's it's it always helps to understand the family. How yeah. how important is this the success of this project? You know. So those are some of the the things